For many people living with Parkinson's disease, simple tasks like writing, walking, or even buttoning a shirt can become daily battles. When medications stop working as well as they once did, and symptoms like muscle stiffness, tremors, or involuntary movements take over, patients and their families are often left with few good options. But now, a newly approved, non-invasive treatment offers new hope, without the need for brain surgery or implants. On July 8, 2025, the United States Food and Drug Administration approved the use of the Exablate Neuro Platform, developed by Insitec, for treating advanced Parkinson's disease. This technology uses focused ultrasound guided by magnetic resonance imaging to target key brain areas involved in movement control. With this approval, patients in the United States can now undergo a procedure known as staged bilateral pallidothalamic tractotomy, a significant advance in Parkinson's care. Parkinson's disease is a progressive disorder of the nervous system that affects movement and coordination. It develops when cells in the brain that produce dopamine, a chemical messenger that helps control movement, begin to die off. Over time, the disease leads to symptoms like tremors, muscle stiffness, slow movements, also called bradykinesia, and postural imbalance. While medications such as levodopa can help manage these symptoms, their effectiveness often decreases after several years. Some patients begin to experience erratic responses to medication or develop dyskinesia, which are involuntary twisting or jerking movements caused by long-term drug use. When that happens, additional treatments are needed. One common next step has been deep brain stimulation, or DBS. This involves surgically implanting electrodes into the brain to regulate abnormal activity. DBS has helped many patients regain control over their movements, but not everyone is a good candidate for brain surgery. The procedure can be complex, requires implanted devices, and comes with risks such as infection, bleeding, and hardware malfunction. For patients seeking alternatives, options have been limited until now. The Exablate Neuro Platform offers a non-surgical alternative. It uses focused ultrasound, which directs concentrated sound waves through the skull to specific areas deep in the brain, all without making a single incision. Guided in real-time by MRI, the system precisely targets the pallidothalamic tract, a brain pathway closely linked to motor control. By disrupting this pathway with controlled ultrasound energy, the treatment can help relieve symptoms like rigidity, slowness of movement, and medication-induced dyskinesia. What makes this FDA approval even more significant is that it allows for the treatment of both sides of the brain, not all at once, but in two carefully planned stages. Previously, only one-sided or unilateral procedures were considered safe enough. Now, doctors can perform the procedure on one side, monitor the results, and then treat the second side later. This staged bilateral approach helps maximize benefits while managing potential side effects. And because the procedure involves no cuts or implants, patients typically experience shorter recovery times and fewer complications than traditional surgery. The approval specifically targets patients with advanced Parkinson's disease whose motor symptoms remain severe despite the best available medical therapy. For those who are not eligible for or, you know, prefer to avoid deep brain stimulation, this new treatment could really be a game changer. InsiTech, the company behind the technology, honestly has a track record of innovation in the field of focused ultrasound. With headquarters in Miami and technological roots in Israel, InsiTech has previously received FDA clearance for using its platform to treat conditions like essential tremor and neuropathic pain. The latest approval actually extends its reach into Parkinson's disease, which affects nearly 1 million Americans today, with that number expected to rise to over 1.2 million by the year 2030. That projection really underscores the urgent need for safer, more effective, and more accessible treatments. So, this new procedure isn't a cure for Parkinson's, and honestly, it doesn't work for every patient out there. 
Like all medical interventions, it definitely comes with some potential risks and limitations. However, you know, its non-invasive nature along with those promising results in reducing disabling motor symptoms really makes it a compelling option, especially for patients who have already tried, well, just about everything else. While access might, at first, be limited to specialized medical centers that are equipped with Insitex technology and trained clinical teams, this approval um, actually opens the door to broader use and insurance coverage over time. Patients and caregivers interested in the procedure are encouraged to speak with their neurologist to see if it's appropriate for their individual case. In essence, the FDA's green light for exablate neuros staged bilateral palatothalamic tractotomy represents more than just a new tool. It represents a shift in how we approach advanced Parkinson's care. It shows that precision medicine and non-invasive innovation can coexist, providing real hope for patients who might otherwise feel out of options. As the population ages and Parkinson's becomes more common, treatments like this remind us that medical progress is not only about finding cures, it's also about restoring control, dignity, and daily life to those living with chronic disease. Subscribe to Drug Insight Hub for the latest medical insights and drug information.